What's going on, everybody? Oh, almost messed up the intro after a hundred episodes. Oh, almost I didn't couldn't even say Happy everybody. Birthday. Hey, we're a hundred da- hundred weeks old. Hundred weeks. I was gonna say days, but you know, that'd be a daily podcast. And I don't know Fuck. that that'd be crazy. <laughs> that'd be craziness. But we got a, a very special episode because it is the one hundred. Stop touching my mic. Uh, we are going to bring you the best things and the worst things we have seen. So as you oh, yeah. all know, if you've watched all 100 episodes, you know that we watch three things a week. And sometimes four, sometimes four, occasionally. Sometimes they get thrown in there, a little bit of extra. You get a yeah. little bit of extra, a little bit of, little bit of special delivery. But, you know, <laughs> but, uh, Lawson, Lawson had the idea that we are going to put our top bottom 10 and our top 10, and then we're going to talk about it so we're going to do a little bit of a quick fire one otherwise we'd be here all day so it's uh mm-hmm. i'll go lawson goes we ju- try and justify it the other person scoffs and mocks the other person as we go so you know mm. it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, I've, I've got a i've got a timer a little okay. little timer going for two minutes so each one we do will be two minutes otherwise we'll end up going on big tangents so yeah keep ourselves the two minutes for each one we've got 40 items to get through and you also do not have movie news this week, so we'll give you an extended movie news. Probably not. I'll probably just give you the recent movie news, but yeah, it is <laughs> what it is. So, who wants? Do you want to kick us off? Because my my ten is going to be better than your ten. My ten will be better than your ten. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yeah, we're going to start with the ten worst things we've seen in the past two years. This was really tough for me because I was unsure whether or not I wanted to do like. Because I've always said that a, a boring movie is worse than a bad movie. Mm-hmm. But a bad movie is a bad movie, right? So in mm-hmm. my eyes, if it's so bad, it's good. It's probably on this list because it needs to be absolutely terrible to be hilarious, right? Yep. Um, so my my number 10 worst thing I've seen past couple of years has been the best Christmas ever. You know that shit? Mm, yeah, yeah. The fucking hallmark garbage that it was. Um, I couldn't stand this movie mainly because, yeah, it just felt like everything else. Um, it was super fucking generic and cringy. Some of the scenes were like so predictable and bullshit. Um, yeah, this movie was trash. This was. I'm gonna say that a lot today, but yeah. Um, that was the worst. That was the worst thing you seen. That was number ten. Uh, yeah okay okay There's nine there are nine things worse but this is in the top 10 okay okay absolutely yeah right because it was yeah it there's there's worse things than this but this was very very generic and boring you love a whole um, christmas film though you love them when yeah they pop totally up. that and yeah this is not lay a hand that pops up it's like yo i was gonna say this and... isn't this isn't the only um this isn't the only christmas movie on the bottom 10 list but wow yeah I can tell it's you, I don't that have same... a, Christmas, a Christmas film on there. Your bottom 10? Mm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Um, this had that scene in where they just checked and destroyed the dollhouse or whatever. Yeah. It was like so predictable and like, yeah, the whole thing was, was bad. And okay. the whole like message behind it and yeah. Okay, okay, okay. This, was, this was a generic, boring, hallmark movie. Uh, that didn't need to exist, but the Cheap. rest of my list is entertaining. This is more just like it was worth mentioning how how boring this was. Fair, fair, fair. You know, because Hallmark loved to pump out the cheap Christmas movies. Nice, easy, simple Definitely. way they run, and then you yeah. gotta get you it's get those hol- get those holiday releases. Uh huh. Wow. Go for Whoa. it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, she's very vocal yeah. today. Yeah, she she agrees that it was bad. Yeah. So I went a little bit differently. I went to my, I started off with, were they good films? Even though if I enjoyed them, I went, were they offensive or were they just bad films? So my number yep. 10, even though I had a really, really good time with it, is Babezilla versus Zombie Horde. And that's your, so you think there's nine things worse than that? Mm. Yep. Yeah, right. Okay. Yep. Like, it was it was a shocking film, right? It was it was not made well, but it was an absolute ride. Like I gotta say, I have not seen anything quite like that. 
I remember seeing and the I, I remember seeing the thumbnail and going, what is this? And just yeah. seeing those extended like sexualized scenes. I'm like, what is this? Like I don't know. Yeah, it's soft core porn. Yeah, like it was mm-hmm. so bizarre, but I laughed my head off at it. Like it was absolutely ridiculous. It wasn't made that well. There was like a random montage of her posing in front yeah. of a camera. And yeah, eating ice cream and uh huh. Yeah, like it was just it was nuts. And for us to post it and then the actual film creator to like then be like, Yeah, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. It's that's what it was made for. I thought that was fantastic, but it yeah, was, it was shocking. <laughs> it was it's very bad. Oh, it's it's it, very, very bad. It's in my, it's definitely in my top 10. I'll get to it later. I'm a bottom 10, but yeah. it's uh, yeah, and like the the intro with the guys. <laughs> that were like the actual producers in the strip club just like ah. yeah <laughs> just a bunch of randys <laughs> that that movie like you can tell nothing i'll get to probably more detail when i get to mine but yeah there's there's no no attention to detail there's no like skill being utilized in the creation yeah. of it's very very unique <laughs> but i i had a great time with it like it Same. was just it was just ridiculous but it was it's yeah. in my it's in my top 10 100% top 10. But it's wild. Yeah, yeah. It's wild. No, that's that's well well deserved. Mm. Um, mine mine's definitely uh lower or okay. higher, however yeah. however you want to put it. Okay. But yeah, yeah. it's on there for me too. Right. Uh, my number nine is Little Mermaid. Oh, that movie. Ooh, okay. Was okay. borderline offensive. It was so so bad. I think back to the songs in particular, especially that okay. Scuttlebutt song with uh, Aquafina. No, oh, yeah. Lena, what the fucking name is. I forget that she's in everything, eh? Like I, everything. Like I see her name and I'm like, oh, she's in this, and then yeah, you just move on, and it's like, oh, okay. Or was she a cop in? Was that in the um? Oh, oh right. that that was uh, Renfield, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really <laughs> awkward. <laughs> she's just awkward. Lena. She's just everywhere. She's like the yeah. female version of Nicolas Cage. Well, yeah. and the female version of um. Fucking what's that guy's name that we see everything since you mentioned him? Oh, uh, Josh Hart. Movie? Josh Hart. Josh Hart. Yeah. yeah. He's done a lot as well, all of a sudden. Um, just... But yeah, Little Mermaid is is a movie that shouldn't have existed. It's very, very boring, the majority of it. They didn't understand. Like, it's always like they didn't get the point of the original Little Mermaid. All the songs were wrong. Um, it had none of the magic. I I'm not a huge Little Mermaid fan like the original. But mm-hmm. This is just nothing in comparison. Yeah, another one of those Disney cash grabs. So, okay, yeah, yeah that's fair. I, I found this movie very shit. Yeah, um, and like I said, the song that they added, they added the the song of her on when she first comes, I guess, on the human land, and they, then they also add the song for what's the name? Of the prince got a song as well. Mm-hmm. Um, which, I yeah, remember. I completely forgot that was the thing. Yeah, that whole that whole movie. Yeah, I hated this. I got really mad watching it, and I'll, <laughs> yeah. I'll never watch it again. So, yeah, it's number nine on my list. Nice. Well, mine's got a theme for one and two, and it is a film that's very close to Babezilla. It is Don't Fuck in the Woods 2. Hell yeah. Do you remember that one? Oh, 100%. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, it was, it was another one my of list. those. No? It was one of those ones nah. where it was it was just a, some guys got together, made a film, and was like, I want, yep. to, see some, I want to see some boobs. Literally. And, <laughs> that's that's very, that's very similar to yeah he said very similar babes a yeah and that's that's what they did i yeah. the the guy that was they just let go and they were like yo yeah just just say whatever <laughs> like yeah. he that like that scene sticks in my head and i like just rarely uh-huh. have a giggle at it sometimes he thinks was, he's like a comedian and he's just saying all this <laughs> random shit and they're like well we'll put it in <laughs> yeah. it's kind of like kevin hart like they just let kevin hart go yeah and it's just uh-huh it's just Whatever happens, happens, and they were like, "Oh, this is this would be funny if you yeah. say enough enough things in a high pitched tone." And away you go. This, yeah, this the movie's hilarious. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, like, but yeah, another, like I said, another movie where it's just like majority of it is soft core porn. Yeah, and it's 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 so bad, and you're just laughing at it because they're either really bad and have no idea, or mm-hmm. they are doing it just for fun. And you think it's worse than? Uh... Babezilla in its creation. Mm-hmm. Yep. Babezilla, yeah. Babezilla, yeah. I enjoyed more. This, this is, yeah, it's, it's below it. It's below it. Sure. Sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, it didn't make my top ten. I don't know why. I think okay. when I was looking back at the like the bad movies that had like at least that was made kind of like Babezilla, I guess. But Babezilla was particularly bad for me. But that was kind of made in a bit of jest, like they were just dicking around with the camera. I guess. Um, I guess. It's still... But for, that was for me anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Didn't it was it was close. I probably would have been my number eleven. I reckon. Definitely okay. up there. It's in there. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. We mentioned this X one a lot. We we compare a lot of movies to it in terms of like horror, bad horror. Um, Exorcist, Exorcist Believer, okay. number eight. Yeah, right. Uh, we already need to add this any any more detail. We already have. It's just a very boring, generic, bad horror movie. Mm-hmm. Um, it sticks to all the tropes you can possibly think of. It presents nothing new. Uh, the fact that it is even attaching itself to the Exorcist name. Is why it's in my bottom ten because I, if it's just boring, it doesn't deserve to be bottom ten. But if it's if it's offensive, then it deserves it. So yeah, yeah, it is very bad, very boring, very undeserving of the of the Exorcist title. Mm-hmm. Um, not much more to say. We we mention all the time how much we hate this movie, and uh, yeah, there's no other horror movie I think that's been as bad as this. Right, they just went. We can possess some kids and it'll be scary. Yeah. No, 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 no it wasn't. Yeah. No, Especially when the director doesn't give a shit and the, the kids can't act and mm-hmm. the yeah. uh the story is very poorly written and the plot has no purpose. Yeah, it's everything's wild. done for the audience. Yeah. yeah. It's uh undeserving, undeserving of the name. Yeah. Yeah, number eight, excess believer. Mm-hmm. Well, well my number eight is another one that is not deserving of the name. It is Ghostbusters The Frozen Empire. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. Yeah, mm. right. Yep. I really like Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Like They're such yeah. such good films. They still hold up. And then the, the, the one with the full female cast, terrible. The other one where Paul Rudd comes in for the first one of his, like, I bet he gets a trilogy. Is is mm-hmm. not too bad. Like it's okay. It has elements of the one and two. This this just sucked. Like they had a really cool villain, and they yeah. did not, nothing with it. Nothing at all. And the villain didn't come in until way later. And then all of a sudden, old mate has fire powers that all of a sudden counteracts. Yeah. It's like, oh my god, that's the most convenient thing ever. Of course. You just you don't need special powers. The whole purpose <laughs> of one and two is it's just these average guys going uh-huh. and dealing with the ghosts. And then all of a sudden you've got a guy that can control fire. You've got a really cool villain. And then you do nothing with it. It's just so yeah, disappointing. Literally. So disappointing. And mm-hmm. you cash grabbed with names like Paul Rudd coming off of the Marvel Ant Man. Then you've got the Stranger, yeah, the Stranger Stranger Things kid. They've just grabbed uh-huh. and been like, "Here you go." And the cameos from the original cast were all so bad. Mm-hmm. Like it's just they, they did nothing. It was there for face. Yep. So it's just uh-huh. just disappointing. Disappointing. Absolutely. But you think that's worse than Zombie Horde? Yeah. Yeah, because of <laughs> because of those things. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Let me rethink my list a little bit. But no, we're good. We're good. Like at least those other um, ones, were, like were fun. This, yeah, this disappointed. Given, given. Yeah. Uh, all right. My number seven is uh, so a few of my bottom ten are sort of combined. There's a reason you'll see why, but okay. In my bottom ten, I've got Die Hard one and two in number seven. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I've combined them because there might as well be one movie. Mm-hmm. Um, two is definitely worse than one. Like one has a bit of funny value to it. Two is just why does this exist? But again, like this is we've talked about this before many times as well. But this was a, a TV show that they decided to re-release and cut down into a movie. It presents like it's being cut down from fucking eight hours of footage, uh, or eight not eight hours of footage, eight hours of actual like original story chopped down into into an hour and a half um yeah it's very very weird it's it's like this if you had told us 10 years ago that kevin hart was gonna be making a movie and he would be a fucking action star and playing himself and whatever 
it'd be like, no, that's dumb as hell. But yeah, it, it exists. Yeah. And it's very shit. The first one at least was funny. John Travolta was like ridiculous in it. Um but again, they tried doing this dumb like plot twist and stuff and and the second one with the fucking um the hillbilly Kevin Hart that he was playing, oh like his god. stunt double whatever it was, like oh, the, you could tell he thinks he's so hilarious. And there's a third Die Hart coming too. There's a trilogy of it. He also sucks as an action hero. He is yeah. way better as the bumbling sidekick. Like he needs sidekick. A, yeah. He needs a he needs a big action star next to him and then let him be the reactive stressing out yeah. guy. Like, we just want to play with the scenes that were somewhat decent were the ones where he was with that girl because at least there's some back and forth. But yeah. when it's just him trying to be funny on his own, it's just tragic. So it's it's, it's like the guy in uh in the woods with her like, just let him run, let the cameras yeah. roll. Yeah. Except okay. this guy is is a millionaire and everyone thinks he's hilarious. So they let him go harder. Yeah. Harder. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, I heart. see what, see number what one you and two there. was my number yeah, seven. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're welcome. That was a rhyme yeah. level joke. Mm, I like number it. seven. I appreciate you. Uh, <laughs> my number seven is Jurassic Shark 3. Yeah, that's very bad. Yeah, yeah. It's just <laughs> real bad. Similar, uh-huh. sim- similar vein to Babezilla in the woods. It's just, mm-hmm. it's just these guys get together and away they go. And yeah. like there was a hit, there was a Hitler shark or something or other. Like it's it's just yeah bonkers. the uh, the the zombie Nazi shark whatever it was yeah yeah it's, yeah. Just, it's just bonkers. Like it's just out there. They were just like whatever. This is this is what we've got now. Like uh-huh. that, the acting was bad. It was shot bad. There was no there was points where they just forgot the previous shot and were like oh here we go let's just keep rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and there was like. The elite, yeah, that was actually really fun because, like, we watched uh, I'm again 2025, I think, mm-hmm. near that, yeah. Um, and that was like very nothing, like, there wasn't even funny moments. Whereas, at least, yeah, uh, Jurassic Shark was it Jurassic Shark 3, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was like <laughs> really fun, yeah. yeah. Typical asylum on my um, my new monitor. This is quick side tangent, but trust me. I only monitor, I have these like Samsung channels, and one of those channels is the Asylum films. It is an entire mm. channel where they just play Asylum movies back to back. Yep. You got you Amazing. get that with the uh, the new Samsung TVs too. You get like heaps of channels, like right, thousand, yeah, thousand channels, and yeah, you just yeah, go literally it. same here. Okay, and there like, you go. So it's a Samsung thing. Yeah, and like Fear Factors on there as well. Yeah, like, consistently. Uh huh. Like old, old channels, Joe like Rogan. the nanny channel. Yeah, like Joe oh, Rogan. Really, with, like actual hair. Yeah. Other pot ones as well as a channel. Bit of a side yeah. tangent here, but you know, yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, the asylum whole channel for it, but a lot of it's boring. So yeah, that's that's a that's a good number seven, I think, mm. for you. Like that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Classic. That's I'd I'd one. watch that again. Yeah, but like that's cause, that's cause funny because it's, it's shocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, my number six again is a combined one. Um, I've got the mother and Atlas. Jennifer oh, okay. Lopez's, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think, okay, I think the mother is worse, but yeah, Atlas is kind of worse too in, in uh, some ways. I liked Atlas though. Atlas was heaps better than the mother. I don't know. No. I feel like her bouncing around in a fucking, in a suit, in a three, with a green screen suit, like it's, it looks even sillier. I feel like it was funnier moments. though. Like it was. Yeah. Oh, uh, like I, I don't laugh, know. I think I think I laugh more at the mother. I did. Yeah, I laugh more at Atlas, and like I enjoyed Atlas compared to the mother. The mother was just like, "You're an action hero now. Away you go." Yeah. But Atlas had like that weird, like they were trying to almost form like there was a, there was a level of um like Hallmark Christmas movie or Hallmark romance movie with her and the robot. Like oh yeah, That's they right. almost tried to like oh the they'll Did- never get along and. What was it? What was the line? Do you want cake or cake or pie? Yeah, cake like or a, pie. Yeah, yeah well, that was the whole thing. Like, I don't know in America is like cake and pie is a, a big thing, but I don't know. I it's just like, good to be a, them bonding or some bullshit. I was like, that's that's a really weird, a really weird bonding moment. Yeah, again, you're trying to make a character bond with a robot, and neither of them can act. 
Yeah. Like you know, it's 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 what what do you really expect? Yeah. Um, quick little so, another little side tangent. I saw this video during the week of like, um, Jennifer Lopez going to like a hometown, oh, really? and she's like, I used to live here to the guy who's literally in, in her house she used to live in, and he's like, Who are you? She's like, I'm Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez, and he's like, Who's Jennifer Lopez? Like, oh really? Yeah, Didn't no know. one knows who she is. Hey, like wow. this random dude. That's um, that's, that's wild because I would assume she she'd sucks. still be a big name. Yeah, you you would, but. Yeah, she's a hor- she's not a nice person either, and uh, yeah, fuck her. So, <laughs> I'm gonna ruin her life by giving her number four, six on my uh, <laughs> my bottom ten when she listens. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Funny times. I actually forgot that the mother existed. Yeah, bad uh, movie. Yeah. Well, my number six is was your number seven. It's the Die Hearts. So yeah, yeah. That was just they were. They were just weird. Like they were meant to be a TV show. I couldn't imagine sitting through like six to ten episodes of this. So true. Like at least they cut it down into an hour and a half, and it was away you went. Like it was. Just, yeah. It's just bad. Kevin Hart. What are you doing? What are you doing? I know. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well deserved. Well deserved. Yeah. It. Yeah. There. There are worse things, but there are not many better things. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's fair. What you- um. I thought this was gonna go. I thought it was going to be worse, but there's been definitely things worse than this, but we have a ghost. Oh yeah. 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 That was, that was my worst. That was my worst thing. I think last year, um, I was one thing more that might be worse, but you raged it. You raged at this one. I'm really fucking angry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was hard to sit through as well. Like it was like many people were unlikable in this. It was, yeah. It was weird. The dad's genuinely an asshole, like a really mean person. He sucks. Mm-hmm. Yep. And the whole plot, I mean, I was going to say the whole plot with, with a certain thing, but generally the whole plot was nonsense. Mm-hmm. And they try to play it off as, again, there's definitely a theme with my bottom 10. They try these hallmark attempts of like, you know, pluck your heartstrings when there's very bad writing and poor direction. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, they, this was a very bad movie. It made me very angry, and it's think- annoying because we watched this soon after the fucking um the Santa one with with Harbor, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Violet, Violet Night. Night. Yeah, and that was entertaining. That was like, you know, I'd watch that again. We have a ghost is aggravating. Yeah, but very before, poorly made. Violet Night's not made for kids. This was made for kids. But they went yeah. target audience. This is kids, but it wasn't funny. It wasn't. It wasn't anything. Know, but, like it was just. But there were some like, jokes that, like, I know there's oftentimes in kids movies there's jokes that are for the adults and only for the adults. Mm-hmm. But there were moments in this that like would be just boring for kids. Yep. Like a lot of it. Yeah. I don't know. I, I hated. I hated this movie. It's a movie that I've I forgot about intentionally. It's like a repressed memory. Ooh. Um. But yeah, it is very bad. Very, very bad. That's fair. I do agree. Hated it. Made me very angry. Ooh. Go listen to the, go listen to the episodes. It's one of those episodes that we ran for a while. <laughs> yeah, it just went off on it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, my number five is a it's actually a really interesting story. And all they needed to do was to try and get the nostalgia, but they didn't. It is Blockbuster. Do you remember that? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. It's very, very shit. Like, all they had to do was just capture the moment of, like, going into a blockbuster and, yeah, like, having a good time and then maybe have Netflix and Blockbuster go off at each other. They just mm-hmm. they didn't do anything. It was just boring. So yeah. So boring. And cringy. Yeah. The acting was bad. And that's the first show or movie that made me dislike that that Asian actor, whatever his name is. Oh, I can't He's in a lot. He always plays, yeah. like, a pretty... A pretty vanilla kind of guy, but this is the first thing I watched, I was like, man, I really dislike this person. Yeah. <laughs> it was just bad. Like it's a it's a very interesting story. Blockbuster had the monopoly on everything. They owned mm. it was them and like easy video. And then video was, easier. And then they just died. And they just died. Mm-hmm. Like capturing the nostalgia of walking into a DVD store or oh, a video store. Oh, yeah. Like the games and just wandering around. That was like mm-hmm. my dream job for for many, yeah. many many times yeah 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 for sure yeah. it's um 
and like you say, like it's it wouldn't have, it, to me it doesn't seem that difficult to make it good or make mm. it decent. And yet it was yeah, and like I feel like none of it even was like what part of this is set in blockbuster. Like yeah. I know it's the last blockbuster and they're trying to keep it alive and whatever, but I feel like they should have gone even further back in time and had more story about like the nineties and stuff rather than yeah. Yeah, weird. That was very not good. Weird, weird, weird. Very weird. Uh my number four is another combined. It's my last combined one. Um, we knew this was coming, but it's Irish Wish and no, Falling yeah. for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. See they I, are... Falling for Christmas, I didn't mind. It wasn't as bad as Rage Inducing for you, but Irish Wish was shock. Yeah, Irish I put the Falling for Christmas on there because I, I feel like like falling for Christmas is almost worse, but only because it's you know again it's that ge- generic hallmark. But they both are, like, I don't know, falling falling for Christmas with the same guy as uh, Space Cadet. I forget who Ooh, the actor was in that. I don't think so. I just remember the Irish Wish where the fairy just randomly appeared, or whatever, whoever she was meant to be. She's yeah. Like, hey. And that then the Irish woman walks in, she's like, Oh, you made the wish on the wishing rock. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? And then the, all of a sudden, I've fallen madly in love with you. I'm not going on my trip anymore. I've met you for five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Again, nonsense fucking movie. And like yeah. that random fight scene in the like the, the church where the, no one was told how to act or how to do fight scenes. Mm-hmm. Weird. Um, Falling for Christmas with the generic fucking because that was that was where she lost memory, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. She gets into a skiing accident and she's and she... it's almost like uh uh what's it called? Oh, it's not important. I forgot the name of the movie from the fucking seventies. Kurt Russell. I don't know. Uh, They're all pretty pretty similar. Yeah. Anyway, Irish Wish, Falling for Christmas, very very nothing movies. Um. Well deserving of near the bottom because they are ridiculous, but they're funny. Mm. Like we're now moving into that level of like they're funny to watch. I I actually had a good time with Irish Wish. I would sit down with some friends and some beers and and rewatch Irish Wish. Okay, yeah. like it's it's absolutely nonsense. <laughs> it's, it's, and like, it's shocking. Yeah, there's nothing redeemable about it. We're, we're now in that realm of like there's nothing redeemable. Same thing with we have a ghost. Like it is just. But garbage from start to finish, uh, mm-hmm. aggravating. But like, the, at least this is funny because it's so bad. Whereas we have a ghost is is not. Yeah. So we're now moving into that realm of so bad that it's hilarious. I, I mean, I, anyway. Yeah, I did the opposite. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, yeah. Uh, uh, your four. My number four is we have a ghost. Like it is yep. it is bad. It's hard to sit through. They're trying to capitalize on harbors like. Stranger Things name and it mm-hmm. just it just sucked. It sucked hard. Yep. It was interesting watching them push it and they're like, We have a ghost, David Harbour, the new whatever. And then all of a sudden it released and they're like, Ooh, this has got bad reviews. Never hear from it again. Fuck it just disappeared. Yeah, it, was yeah, pretty, it wasn't it strange. Was wild. Yeah. And like, why use David Harbour at all if you're not going to utilize him? Yep. Weird. In, in, like he all these weird because he couldn't even talk. No. And part of Harbor, like part of his attraction as a as an actor, is like he has this fucking this gruffness to him. Mm-hmm. And he just looked like a weird old man with a comb over in his yeah. fucking Wow. We have a ghost. Yeah. Uh, that's, right. that's well deserving. Final three. Top three. Here we go. My number three is Madam Webb. Oh <laughs> mine it's actually mine as well. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Number three, number three. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Perfect. Um, yeah, Madam Web is special is a special kind of movie. It is like it's the most expensive movie on my top ten list. Easy on bottom ten. Mm-hmm. Um, it is so ridiculous. Like I've now that it's been out for a while, a few YouTube, a few YouTubers I watch have made like videos talking about like why it's so bad and everything. And it is so interesting to see someone who's hyper intelligent about this stuff actually talk about all the things that are wrong with it and be like wow this is like a properly terrible movie it's not just so funny that it's so bad that it's funny it's also incredibly incredibly poorly made right. um 
yeah, it's insane how bad this is. The the plot and everything. Um, literally everything about this is crazy. The fact it's so expensive as well is is wild. So yeah, I mean, what's really to say? Man and Web we know is a fucking meme at this point. It's so annoying. You've got all this source material. Madam Web is really cool and intertwined with everything. And you've just gone, no, we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to assemble the girl powers and then we're going to mm-hmm. have this, the ending. The ending is absolutely wild where all of a sudden she's able to see everything. And then as, oh, just the premonitions as people appear, so like the happy ending, Ah, oh, bless yeah. you. Oh, yeah, you I know? hate it. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's so <laughs> stupid. Oh, it's and so like, wild. To have this whole bad guy who was more or less Spider Man, mm-hmm. and his whole plot is like, oh, I need to kill these women because they're gonna kill me. And then in the end, they don't even he doesn't even die in the same way. Like is well, so, his is his premonition yeah, not like that accurate? Come. I don't know. You also show all these the girls having powers, and they have no yeah. powers, not at no. all. Only in a vision. That's it. Uh-huh. I know, That's and it. that was used so heavily in the advertising for the movie as well. It was like these three girls, and you love Sydney Sweeney, and mm. so she has nothing in this, right? She was yeah, just there. three fucking twenty-five-year-old women who were meant to be teenagers. Yeah, and they're all very unlikable. And like, you could have had one person instead of three, and it made no difference because all three of them were, like, the same character. Right. That's dumb. The whole thing yeah. is wild. Adam Webb is a special kind of shit. But again, it is fucking hilarious. Like, I would rewatch it many times. Mm. In fact, I want to. Okay. I think, again, Madam Webb in a circle with some friends with, you know, some beers or whatever, it would be really fucking funny. Yep. It's, uh, it, it's insane. Number two. My number two... And this is my top two are the ones I think are, are the worst, but also so fun to watch. My number two is Guns of Eden. Oh, yeah. yeah. We we tore the movie to shit. Um, I went through my phone the other day because when I first watched it, I recorded a bunch of like funny scenes uh, and like me laughing at it or whatever. Yeah. And... Yeah, it's a special kind of movie. It's like, it's kind of like Babyzilla in the fact that it's, and uh, Don't Fuck in the Woods, where it's like a bunch of people sitting in a fucking room laughing at shit. Um, there's there's no attention to detail. It, they all think they're, but the thing with Guns of Eden is they think they're making something great. Like they think they're badasses making cool shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it is so funny. One of the funniest, like, so bad it's good movies I've watched in recent history. Um, reminds me of Samurai Cop and stuff, which is one of my favorites. So bad it's good. Yeah. Uh, it's, it is extremely bad, extremely funny. There yeah. is no attention detail, no skill. Um, yeah, it's one of my favorite movies I've watched because it's so bad, but yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, that's fair. I went for the bottom two, real offensive. So my yeah. number two is Dragon Abe's Age Absolution. Yeah, that so like, it would be. I love Dragon Age. There's a new game coming out. The trilogy is fantastic. Loved them, mm-hmm. played them. Mm-hmm. Actually played one more than once. So that, that says something. For you, yeah. And they've got so, again, they've got so much source material and then they just mm-hmm. go on their own and make something so generic and so bad. Like, what are you yeah. doing? Just use the source material. It's like Disney revamping the Star Wars stuff. They had all the extended lore and they just go yep. out on their own and look what's happened. It's just, it's so silly. So yeah. silly. Just for you, it makes sense because like, I don't really care about that being shit. Yeah. But for you, that's like offensive bad because you love Dragon Age. Dragon Age be like, made, like it made all that show and they, yeah. it was horrible. Yeah. Mm. So you're going to yeah. say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So dumb. So dumb. Yeah, definitely. Um, all right. Number um, ones. Bah, 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 which, bah. if you've been following along, you'd know what number one is at this point. But my number one worst thing I have watched in the past two years on this podcast is Babezilla and the Zombie Horde. <laughs> <laughs> because Bryce is your number 10 because I think, I think it's the worst thing we've ever seen. Because no, I, I, I look at it. <laughs> like quite fondly and I giggle yeah. at it. Like I was, when I started yeah. watching it, I messaged you and was like, yo, check this out. It was it's like, insane. It's wild. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those like quintessential episodes. If you look back on our list as well, that's why I think it deserves number one on my list. Cause my list is like 
it was more if it's more towards a one and a two, then you can have a better time with it because it's it's worse than everything else. So it's mm-hmm. more fun. Um, yeah, we've discussed it already, but this is insane how bad this is. And like to a degree, I like it because you know it's just a bunch of guys with a camera. They're not trying to make anything good. They're just dicking around having fun, and we know that because the guy messaged us on on YouTube mm-hmm. and was like. You had fun. That's the main thing. It was like, fuck, man, you're so right. Yeah. yeah. But from like, a, from an aspect of like, what makes a good movie and what makes a bad movie? If you tick all the boxes, what makes a good movie? This has all those boxes unticked. There's no plot, literally zero. Mm-hmm. Um, no one can act. The the scenes go for way too long. Um, at least it's like short. It was like an hour long, right? It was pretty yeah. short. Yeah, it's uh, just over an hour. But man, it's fucking funny. Like. I wanted my list to be the, the further towards the one you get, the funnier of a time you're going to have. Okay. And this is the funniest time. Yeah. This and Guns of Eden are so funny. Um, the fucking, what was her her special move? The queef cannon? Yeah. <laughs> like shit like that, man. Like it's just them sitting in a room drunk, writing it. Like it's so funny. So yeah, my number one, Babezilla Zombie Horde. Yeah. If you've already seen it, go watch it with some friends. It is very funny. That's wild. I still look fondly on that movie. Yeah. Worst thing My you've watched. Worst thing is Exorcist Believer. Yeah, I fair. hate this thing. It's I <laughs> consistently say it is. I think it was my first like zero or well, the first thing I was mm. like, I'm not watching this. Yeah, like it was just it was so bad. I reckon I ended up skimming through it because I'm like, what in the hell is this? Like it was it's the tough most, to get through. Most generic, boring thing that I have seen. And it's again, you've got the source material, you've got what worked in the other ones. Like, what yeah. are you doing? What are you doing? Definitely. It's not that hard. Like the fans of it want to see similar stuff. Like it's yeah. And it, it, like, yeah, we know what we want. We don't expect it to be anything groundbreaking, but it needs to be something new. But when yeah. it falls into the same category as every other exorcism movie, and somehow worse, like this is worse than uh the fucking Pope's Exorcist. Yeah. Like, and that was dumb and generic and nonsense, but at least it was more fun than this. All right. It's so dumb. Yeah, I hated it. Mm-hmm. Well done. There you go. They're the worst things that we have watched in the past yep. two years on this podcast, the past 99 episodes. Some similar, some slightly different. Yeah. It's good that uh, I'm glad you mentioned Don't Fuck in the Woods because I had it in like I wrote like a list of my my worst things I've seen. There was like 15, 20 things in there. And then I tried to put them into a list. And it's Don't Fuck in the Woods, one of those ones I was like, oh, I kind of want it in there. Same with Blue Beetle. Like I want uh, that in yeah. there as well somewhere. But I was like, eh, Blue Beetle is just boring. Like it's not yeah. garbage. It's just really boring and generic. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, let's, so yeah. Let's jump into our top 10. Top 10. Let's go. Oh, you nervous? I feel like you're nervous. I'm nervous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel Best like, things we've like... seen in the past couple of years. Yep. Yep. This is completely subjective. Oh, yeah. 100%. Like, I feel like this is our favorite things. That's why I want to make sure this list was not, not like not the best movies that have come out that we've watched because, you know, you can, you can get that pretty easily, I think. Mm-hmm. This is like our favorite things. Yep. Yep. Uh, so again, do you, want me to go, do you want me to go first? Oh, I'll, I'll just put a disclaimer. As of mm-hmm. like probably end of tomorrow, I feel like one of my lists would drop out for Cobra Kai. Oh, true. Hey. Because mm, I haven't finished the season yet, but one yep, of them yep. will, will drop out. So Cobra Kai does not mm-hmm. make a does not make a appearance. Because we yep. haven't watched we haven't watched it for pod either. So but uh, my, I want to put mm, go on, sorry. For Your... my my enjoyment level, it'll be it would be in this top ten list. Yeah. I can see that for sure for you, yeah. Yeah. I um I want to mention two honorable mentions that only just didn't make the list, and not because I didn't like them, but because, well, one of them is um House of the Dragon, mm-hmm. and didn't make top ten because it's still happening, and I think it's it's still yet to reach its peak, but it didn't make my top ten. But I am loving it. Okay. Um, the other one that didn't make my top ten, which is probably a surprise considering it was our number one when we did our list last year. Um, but yeah, the whale didn't make my top 10 and not because it's bad, but because 
it's emotional. <laughs> it's mm. it's it's hard to rewatch, and it's not in my top ten because um, I like stuff I can rewatch and and really enjoy and fucking froth over. That's fair. The whale That's is fair. um is pretty. It's a tough. Yep. So yeah, didn't make top ten, but my number ten favorite thing I've watched the past couple of years on podcast is Society of the Snow. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah, yeah. really good movie. Um, I also got lots of people giving me extra details on YouTube, like they were giving us um, inside information of what actually okay. happened. Yeah, it was it was oh. pretty interesting to read the comments on that one. Like what? Well, I don't know. I have to go read them. Oh, sure, sure. But like events and how it actually went down and stuff. Yeah, because they were present during the time that it all happened. Right. Yeah, mm. yeah. I just think that this uh, was just a really like captivating story. I think it was brilliantly made. Like the way that they used, um, like a lot of their shots were so well used and how it made them feel incredibly isolated. And I think the film was one of those things that sometimes it's hard to make people feel isolated because you are filming with a crew of like 100 people not in the middle of nowhere. Um, but they were, yeah, very clever, very brilliantly made. I think that, this does to me. This deserved the Oscar for best foreign film, okay. um, but it wasn't foreign enough for it to win best foreign film. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very good. Society of the Snow. If you've already seen it, it's about the um, the air crash of the team, the Argentinian rugby team, yep. in like the eighties. It crashed in the Andes. Um, brilliantly done. Love it. Yep. Easily top ten. Yep. Very good movie. Ma- didn't make my top 10, but it's definitely, definitely a good film. Yeah. But... My number 10 is Zac Efron's Iron Claw. The Iron Claw. Yes. Yep. yep. I only Great. just missed my list. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great storytelling. Zac Efron mm-hmm. has been very, very impressive. Like, very. you know, when you're a, a child star and like he was, I guess, not like young child star but you're in a disney film you're in a musical and then you can't come out and you're still impressing in like all your different roles but the iron claw absolutely incredible great storytelling great characters revolving around the the von i can't remember the 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 von something or other the the wrestling uh yeah forgotten as well yeah but god it was it was good it was very, very impressive. They also had the guy from Shameless and the Bear. Uh, yeah, I can't remember his name, but well it's acted. Very good though. Great storytelling. Mm-hmm. Well shot. Great film. Yeah, that only just missed my list as well. I think similar to the Whale, and that that's really it's tough. Mm. But yeah, fucking well, well deserved for top ten. Very good movie. Uh, my number nine, which I'm surprised didn't go higher for me, but I reckon the rest I enjoy more. Uh, is Talk To Me. Okay, yeah, that's good. Mm. Cool. It's my highest rated horror movie. Nothing else on my list is horror. Yeah. Um, it's fucking brilliant. And and I was looking at this with a student during the week. It's not because it's filmed in Adelaide and I know people that are in it and whatever, but I think it's like, it's rare that a horror movie comes out in modern day and it's something new. And like, there are elements of it that, you know, does feel somewhat like used before you know Mm -hmm. it's almost impossible not to but i think they use more of like homages homages instead of being like direct ripoffs true but yeah talk to me is great i rewatched a couple times since yeah um fucking good movie really good movie well done well done to the philippi brothers i'm excited to see more of their shit yeah, they get they've got a new film that they've uh, started filming. Mm. They've just got the green mm-hmm. light for it. Also, if there was an actor for uh, not an actor, a Oscar for best extra, I think uh, Jess would win that for. Yep. Talk to me. Yep. 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 So, I mate, Jess. Uh huh. Yep. Shout out, Jess. She's yep. Now her saying. Good yep. job. Absolutely dominated it. Mm-hmm. Stole the show. Stole the show. Yeah, proud of her. <laughs> Uh, number nine is a guy Richie's TV show, The Gentleman. Oh yeah, you mm. know what? That probably deserves to be my list as well. Yep, that's Absolute, very good. Really, really captivating. Guy Richie's a little bit hit and miss at times, but yeah, he absolutely nailed this. Although the end, the ending was a little bit like mm, okay, but yeah. the rest, the rest of it, really, really captivating. Well shot, great characters. Mm-hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. 
flashy Guy Ritchie style. Really entertaining. Yeah, very good show. Hmm. Especially considering the last few things to do before that were fucking boring. All right. Like the Covenant. The Covenant, I mean, it wasn't terrible, but the ending was, like you said, you like mentioned the ending here as well, but the ending of the Covenant was pretty pretty bad. Yep. But yeah, Gentleman's fun as, especially the first few episodes where he's meeting the characters the first time. and the first three. First three, you were like, yeah. whoa, let's go. Yeah. yeah. Very good show. No, well deserved. Very well deserved. Actually, yeah, that could be even close to my top 10, but. Oh, they can read the rest... list. No, because I'm happy with the rest. Like, I think the rest of the cool. things are in my list are still better. Yeah. Uh, my number eight is Love Lies Bleeding. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fucking yeah. really cool. I've watched it again since. Um, no, same I'm still sour on that. Because it was enough bodybuilding. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is about <laughs> bodybuilding. It wasn't about bodybuilding. <laughs> I know. That's why I'm annoyed. Yeah, I know. I remember that being your rant. But yep. no, I think it's fucking really well made. Um, I've watched it only once since, but second viewing made me appreciate it even more. Okay. Um, like from now on, the rest of my list is all a five out of five movie, even Ooh. if I gave it lower. Um, on my like review, yeah, I've watched everything from here on again since. Okay. Um, and have made me really like it the second the second viewing like like it even more. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, all those readings great. It's well written. It's it changes genre from like that from scene to scene. Um, yep. it's like gritty and and like really dirty at times. Uh, there's a lot to say, and it's you know there's not a twist at the end, but there's an ending where you're like, what the fuck is happening? This is bizarre. But I think it makes heaps like watching the movie again, knowing that's that the how it's going to end. I think it makes perfect sense. Uh. So yeah, I'm a big fan. I reckon Love Lies Bleeding is one of the best movies I've seen in the past yeah, okay. few yeah. years. Interesting. Number eight. My number eight is a documentary biopic. It is The Beckham. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. I loved it. I thought it was incredible. Like growing up, it was like, yep, yeah, Beckham, great soccer player. Mm-hmm. And then this was a well filmed well shot like well paced it had enough for the significant other it also had enough like soccer insights and everything and i had no idea about all those bits and pieces and i was like i was hooked all the way through i was like that's insane for the amount of things that bloke had to go through like the the whole death threats and the red card and the coach and what was that yeah yeah wow like i never never knew all that and i was just like i was hooked and everyone mm-hmm. I've recommended to that have watched it, like, yep, even the the other half has enjoyed it as well. Yeah, it's surprisingly good because a lot of those docos, they all fall in the same category where it's just like, yeah, it's interesting, but it's, you know, I sort of knew everything already. But, yeah, you're not wrong. It's actually a very good doco mm. and series. Like, they're very two very interesting people. And yeah. I actually really enjoy Beckham, like, calling out um, Victoria. She was like, I grew up like working yeah, class. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, Work hard your dad drive. <laughs> no, he, no, he didn't. So funny. Yeah. He's actually yeah, quite, yeah, yeah. quite humorous. He's got a very similar sense of humor to me, I reckon. Yeah. He sense. he and Victoria are very similar to you and your wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. both personalities are very, very similar, which is quite yeah. funny. That's why. Yeah, that was good. That was good, Doc, actually. I'm, that was one that I wasn't actually keen on watching because I couldn't give a shit. But then we did. And I was like, yeah, it's not bad. Like, yeah. Pretty good for what it was. Like how the tides have turned. You used to be a super sports soccer head. And then I used, like to, Beckham. Hate, I used to hate soccer. And then yeah, yeah. I love it now. I watch like now you five, love it. five games a week. Insane. Yeah. yeah. I watched a little bit at the Olympics, but I haven't watched it in so long. Yeah, right. I've really watched three or four games. I didn't realize the other day I realized there's a new A-League team. And by, by new, I mean in 2020 they were introduced. I don't even mm. know that until... Last week, that's how okay. detached I am from it all now. A league's hard to watch. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my number seven, we're up to. My number seven, uh, I originally gave it a four and a half, but I think I, I've upped that to a five because on a rewatch, there's so much more to like. Saltburn. Oh yeah, yep. Saltburn is fucking good. It is 
like I I wish it was more appropriate for school because it'd be really good to deconstruct in a classroom and talk about all the little yeah, things. Yeah, I, and... I, I don't think you're getting past any uh even no no way. <laughs> yeah, you're getting there. But it's fucking good. It's like good I you. loved um like since then and again I rewatched and I, I I've seen it twice since I showed um to uh my partner and whatever. Uh but yeah. It's it's a lot of attention to detail. Like they really, she I should say the uh, main, well the director, the writer and stuff. She cared about it a lot. Like all of the decision making were, were, you know, I've once heard I forget which director said it, but in a, in a film you need to make a thousand decisions and it might as well make the right one. Mm-hmm. And that's same with her. Like she she really put effort into every little decision, and I think that paid off. And all the attention yeah. to detail is is fucking brilliant. So. Yeah, salt burn on a rewatch gets better and better. Um, it's very, very good. It's deserving of because it, it sort of just became like a shock value movie, and people forgot about it. Mm-hmm. They was like, "Oh, what about those those three scenes?" It's like, yeah, but there's so much more to it than those three scenes. It's really, really clever filmmaking. Yeah, yeah. my number seven, salt burn. Okay. Um, considering I gave the whale a five and salt burn a four and a half, you, you know, we think that the whale is higher up, but this shit's good. Top burn's okay. great. Go watch it. Yeah, I agree. It didn't make my top ten, but it is a really good film. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rewatch it, but it's really good. Yeah, it's you. My, I get it. <laughs> yeah, my number seven is a film that was it's the fourth film of the franchise. It was also planned so that it could do really well in the China the Chinese market. It is John Wick Four. So there's only about thirty two minutes of dialogue. And then the rest yep. is John Wick being John Wick. Fight scenes, yep. absolutely incredible. It was Again. shot well. It looked real mm-hmm. good. I loved it. I still still like number one better, but this was a good send off for John Wick. Like, yeah, you did. They did well with it. Yeah, that's fair. I'm not sure it's up there with the best things, but I can see where you're coming from. It's it's a right top good. thing. It's a rhyme in top ten. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was thinking about it from my from my perspective. Yeah. It's yeah, it is very good. And you're right, like the action, like it's John Wick has now set that standard, you know, like everyone compares same thing with Monkey Man Cam. Everyone's like, oh, John Wick. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, they're trying to be John Wick. It's like, yeah, okay, is that a bad thing? John Wick's the like the quintessential fucking how to do good action, modern yep. action, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sick. Yeah. I felt like it got too complex with all like the the story in the background with all the you know i like number one more because it's it's a bit more simple he's out for revenge you killed my dog i'm gonna absolutely wreck you yeah and four's like there's this fucking i mean i don't know two and three are the same but how they went crazy with the uh the hidden society and all the mm-hmm. different levels and it yeah. got pretty complex for me but yeah yes. i can see that yeah it's the same with uh, Taken. Okay. Taken one was all about getting his daughter back and yeah. destroying, it. and then and then it got silly. Take, yeah, and then it just didn't live up to it. But definitely, yeah. definitely. Uh, my number six, and fuck, this is better on a rewatch. Once you actually know uh, what's what's really happening and how everything leads up to it, but challenges. Oh, okay. Challenges yeah. is fucking awesome. I I did not. I mean, I appreciate it the first time I watched it. Uh-huh. But Jesus Christ, on a rewatch, it is there is so much to appreciate. Like, yeah, I, I'm so into this movie. It, I'm, I nearly put it higher, but the rest of it is really hard to put any lower. But Challenges is is an easy five out of five movie. It's fucking brilliant. No, because they didn't tell me who won at the end. That wasn't the point. I want to know. You can't <laughs> give me a can't give me a game and not give me the outcome. That's why I love it. Yeah. It wasn't about the outcome. It's never been about the outcome. No. About the challenge. <laughs> also, the point of view of you being the ball. Get stuffed. No, you don't do a point of view. I know shot. you hate that. Yeah, I yeah. Hate it. No, I really like that because no. again, it's about the back and forth, and you can't feel more of that unless you're the ball itself. And mm. I, I love that. You know, it's a it's a gay romance hidden amongst the movie as well. Like on a rewatch, it's, that's even more apparent. I don't understand how those guys didn't know that. Like it was, yeah. I was like, well, for sure. I was like, what? Uh, yeah, their life exists for each other in so many mm-hmm. ways. Yeah, challenges is great. It's it's fucking yeah. 
I, I've, it's one of those movies that I now will watch every couple of weeks. Yeah. You watch a lot of mm-hmm. things, though. I love rewatching movies. <laughs> it's nuts. Well, my number six is Blue Eye Samurai. Absolutely incredible. Oh, hell yeah. Great yep, storytelling. Yep. Mm-hmm. Great, great pacing. Great visuals. It was it was out there. I looked at it and was like, oh, this looks cool. And you were like, oh, yeah, okay. And then you were like, oh, my God. Oh, I was obsessed. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, warning, it's higher on my list. But, yeah, it's yeah. it's so good. I'll talk about it now because I, I can talk about it when I get there. I can just mention it, but it's it's so such good story writing. Like the characters are so likable, and they have their own flaws. And she's almost too headstrong because she she's a, she is her own downfall by the end as well. But yep. it's like yeah, Blue Eye Samurai is is probably the best like animated TV show that's come out in recent history. Yeah, it's good. It's very, very. It's good. very good. Which reminds me of, and I mentioned back then too. Reminds me of um Avatar at times as well. Okay, yeah. The like Glass Airbender, like it didn't get a lot of publicity. It was just like here's Netflix's newest animation because yeah. it came out at the same time with another. Uh, it was a game one, I reckon. Um, game one. Yeah, it was like a PS2, a reasonably cult following. Um, like one with us or. No, the one with the demon. The remember we watched this and the other one at the same time. The other one was like he oh, was only Musha, whatever it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, watched, yeah. Because they both came out at the same time, uh-huh. and then one took off, and the other one was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Whereas that one was very nothing, and mm. then Blue Eye Samurai is fucking brilliant. Yep. Animation's sick. I actually want to watch. I watched it twice, but I want to watch it again. I reckon because it's it's very 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 good. Yeah, so that's my number six. <laughs> You're a little like, how do you rewatch stuff, Stinger? Yeah. yeah. That's great. But our lives are very different. They are, yeah. Rewatching things brings me so much joy. <laughs> things I know are good, rewatching it, you, I can appreciate it more, you yeah. know? Like Blue Eye Samurai the second time was like even better than the first. Uh, My number five, which you haven't finished, you need to finish the show, Shogun. Oh yeah, I have not. It's so good, man. It's insane. It ends okay. like the whole story is fucking brilliant. My only thing, and this is totally a me thing, is I had to read a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of it's in Japanese and it becomes more in Japanese the further on it goes. Um not a bad thing. That's just me being lazy. But fuck it's good. And it gets it only gets better. Uh it, it's such a good I only watched it once, which is rare, but uh because I have to read. But fuck, man, it is it is one of like the best shows to come out in a very long time. Okay, got everything, got everything. It's it's yeah. fucking brilliant. Okay, I didn't mind the the first three. So yeah, mm-hmm. I'll get I might get around to it. Oh, I can't recommend it more. Okay. It's like it's got all the like intrigue of like good Game of Thrones and all that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. The action scenes are insane and, and so well done. And it's fucking Samurais. Like, we love Samurais. I love Samurais. Samurais are sick. Yeah. Right? Yeah. My number five, you're not going to agree with. It okay. is a, a rhyming special. Okay. It is, it's, has everything, well, has most of the things that I want. It's only missing like one or two things. It is obliterated. Yeah, I thought it'd be high on your yeah, list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I loved it. It's it's what I want. The action comedy, yeah, like ridiculousness, fun characters, the back and forth. That's that's what I like. That's like my mm-hmm. rhyme and bread and butter. Like it's just it's fun. It's just mm-hmm. fun. That's fair. When yeah. I when I first watched it, I was like, this is dumb, but then I remember talking about it with someone at work and being like, It's just uh picture the expendables. Mm-hmm. Expendables? But yep. but they're all drunk. Yep. And they're like, that sounds great. I'm like, you know what? It is kind of great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like it's it's just fun. Yeah. Yeah. Had a good that time. That wasn't bad, actually. Mm. I, I probably should give that more time. I only watched the first three and I sort of like, eh. Because it's how many? There's it's a full season, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it ends at the end of the season? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I need to give it a better shot, I reckon, because it wasn't that bad. It's pretty yeah, fun. It's good fun. Good fun. <laughs> All right. Uh, my top number fours. four, top four. We're into it. Um, is again. This is a selfish one. 
but you know it's my list so fuck you uh is fallout Ooh, mine fallout too. series mine too oh really oh mm. no shit hey mm-hmm. maybe it's not a selfish one it's good mm. it's a really good show i've obviously finally, watched it a couple of times finally a good video adaptation there is yeah. so many video game adaptations and they just suck resident evil like besides yes. oh, the, fir- the first movie the first movie's cool Movies weren't too bad. They got real bizarre towards the end, mm-hmm. but the mm-hmm. TV show sucked. Like it was yeah. bad. But yeah. It makes me want to put, like, I, I'm disappointed I don't have um, Last of Us on here either. Okay. It's, it's a very, very good series, but I had problems with it. Mm. Whereas Fallout, like, Fallout's everything I wanted it to be. It's yeah. it's my favorite IP. Um, it's the game I probably spent the most time on, and it's a TV show that came out that's very good. It's well written. Mm. It has all the things that we want from fan service. But even those who don't like the series, like yourself, obviously you've seen your top four. Jesus Christ, that's awesome. I don't, I don't yeah. dislike the series. I just don't yeah. play it as much. As... Yeah, hundred percent. But like, I think those like it, it's no one expected to be as be as popular as it was. No, I expected like it to be way worse. I was expecting very mm. mediocrity from it. I was scared because you know I wanted I wanted this to be fucking amazing, and you know same thing happened with Halo, and I was like, yeah, I'm, I love I love Halo, and the show comes out, and I'm like, this is not what I wanted it to be. Halo got cancelled. Fallout. Yeah, I saw after two seasons. No, I'm surprised I got the second season. Yeah, the first was not great. I've heard the second's better. I haven't got there yet. Um. But yeah, Fallout, it's very good. It's like everything it needed to be and more um, yeah. from every perspective. I, yeah. I love it. I think they did a fucking brilliant job. It's going to run for many seasons. I can imagine it being like five or six seasons long. Cool. Um, I'm more excited for the next season of that than I am for anything else upcoming. Okay. It's good. It's, like Vegas. A, oh. it's finally a good Fallout story because my biggest problem with three was the story. I was like, I can give you that. This sucks. And then four, I was like, I don't really care about this. It was like, find, yeah. you, find your child. It was like, you didn't even establish that any connection with it. Like, No, it was an infant. No, I was like, oh, okay, sick. Yeah. they they The story becomes more complex later. But yeah, that's very fair. Mm. I can see but your perspective. Yeah. This was good storytelling. And mm-hmm. I felt connected to the main character. I was like, go. Like she yeah. goes through bits and pieces and cops a bit and actually has some character development throughout. Yeah. And they're complex. Like, mm. I feel like there's so much character to Maximus as well. And like yeah. his brotherhood of steel night now, but he's also, you know, arguing in his, in his mind, whether or not it's the right decision, but he's you now overwhelmed with power. And mm-hmm. we have a character who is pre and post war. And yeah, there's, it, it's, it's very, very well made. And the fact that it's made with, um, you know the producers of actual fallout like it's all it's all more accurate and yeah yeah it's great it's yeah. so fucking good yeah both number fours there you go well then i go with number three number three straight away then which you've already yep. mentioned and i don't need to go into more detail but blue eye samurai mm-hmm. yep. there's only two things better than it um blue eye samurai is fucking brilliant it's so perfect it's yeah. easy yeah. five it's a six you know it's it's, it's fucking brilliant that's good it's very good my number three is very similar. They have finally, there is a finally good live action series of an anime, of an adaptation, mm-hmm. is One okay. Piece. Right. Mm. That was three. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. It was so good. It's like I'm a thousand episodes into One Piece. I like One Piece. Yeah. I, I had the cards. I had, I got a few figures. I got Luffy up there. I've got like Zoro here. Like mm-hmm. it was such a great moment. Like it's, oh, yeah. it's it's so good. And whenever they go, we're gonna do a live action adaptation. I was like, oh my god, this mm-hmm. is gonna be terrible. Cause I've watched many, many adaptations and they're all pretty bad. This was good. Yep. This was really good. It was actually even people who haven't seen the anime have watched it and been like, This is good and enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, sweet. People at the footy club were like oh we watched the one piece i was like oh do you know any of the the anime and stuff and they're like no i was like oh, okay and they and I liked it and they liked it okay yeah do you think it's 
is it introducing people to One Piece? Like, because I I liked the show, but I didn't didn't make me go didn't make me want to go watch the anime. Uh, it's it's definitely introducing people to the show. the The problem with the anime is that it's a thousand That's plus my episodes. Problem. Yeah, yeah. Like pe- people are, yeah don't want to start it. But my advice to people is just start with a start like a an arc and then have a break come back watch a bit of an arc yeah come back like it's not, I've heard as well like you don't have to sit there and catch up on a thousand episodes you just mm-hmm. play play an arc and away you go but like it's massive one piece is absolutely insane how big it is like it's i will probably say that you will go down as potentially one of the biggest animes ever Especially yeah. once once you we find out what the one piece is. Like apparently it's in its last arc now, but that oh, really? could still run for the next five to ten years. Yeah, no shit. I could imagine it ever ending to be honest. Like that's just how it feels at this point. No, but Oda has said that the manga is in its last arc. There you go. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. No shit. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Number three. I could I know what you know what one and two are, so to for you to put that as high as your number one and two that's very interesting it's, it's, it's an ip that i like like if dragon yeah, age if dragon age absolution was yeah. like lived up to the source material that would probably be a heaps high as well but yeah true they end up being garbage yeah so that's very bad yeah uh, fair all right mm. i should maybe try to re-watch it and try to finish it because i only watched three episodes for pod and then i didn't, never got back into it so ah, it gets it gets real good i'll watch one piece if you watch shogun yeah uh, Done. <laughs> Done. Very fair. Uh, okay. My one and two. Well, one uh, and two. Well, not one yeah. and two, but to quickly say something I don't think you're going to agree with. Number one, maybe, but two, no. Nah. Okay. <laughs> Same with your one and two. They are very personal. Uh, my number two is Hundreds of Beavers. Oh, yeah. I, I, I see why. I see why. So fucking good. It's so, <laughs> so well done. Um, I love it. It's... I've watched it again since obviously it's it's so funny it's really fucking clever <laughs> for a movie that like on the surface it comes across pretty like dumb and if you come like my, my, my partner walked through on point and saw it she's like what the hell are you watching and i'm like this it looks like nothing but when you actually sit and watch it there's there's so much to appreciate uh i love it it, it is so up my alley it's fucking brilliant in every way um, and for it to be, you know, very cheap, most of the money was spent on like beaver costumes and animal costumes and shit. Yeah. Like, it's it's fucking great. Yeah. It's one of those movies that when I talk to randoms about movies and things that I like and stuff, I almost always mention hundreds of beavers and like, what's that? And I got to go show them a trailer or I have it on my Google Drive so I can share it to people pretty easily. Yeah, yeah right. it's great. Yeah, 100%. I can see why. I can see why. Mm-hmm. Look, it's not, it wasn't my my cup of tea, but no. you know, it's just like your one and two. Yeah, look, well, your two I didn't mind, but your one, no, <laughs> I, can, I, I can guess. But go on. <laughs> well, my number two is a another doco, and it is about uh-huh. my idol Arnold uh-huh. Schwarzenegger. It tells the three <laughs> three parts of his life. It was absolutely incredible. Even though I don't care about American politics, watching him yeah. become governor and him coming through his whole life to becoming Mr. Olympia, it is mm. it is outstanding. I absolutely love Arnold. He's such a character. He's such a cool, like, you just got to believe and work hard. And that's, like, what I built my life around. Literally, yeah. 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 This- he's, he's the embodiment of your, like, value system <laughs> yeah he's just, I, just, I just love him i reckon he's great yeah yeah That's i can see bit. that and the doco was pretty good like i didn't yeah. watch episode three because like you said i don't care about politics and i don't i'm not that attached to arnie uh yeah. but yeah it was well made and it made me appreciate him more and his journey more and mm. what's more important than that well episode three is actually kind of interesting because he's more about like understanding the person and working for the mm-hmm. people and just being like an actual an actual person rather than going i am a politician yeah yeah like, I, I don't know what politicians do but i feel like they just sit there going <laughs> oh, i'm a politician where he was like smoking yeah. cigars with people and like just mm-hmm. being a, just being a lad 
yeah. being a lad. Yeah. yeah, he's very charismatic. Yeah. And his journey is quite unique. Like I could imagine anybody else we mentioned this before, but who's been a bodybuilder, an actor, and a politician, a successful politician too, not just like yeah. randomly running for office, like he was governor of California. Yep. Yep. It's, yeah. It was good. It was good. Yeah, he's I great. Was yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Yeah, and he was, I knew he was your number two because I know what your number one is. And I don't think <laughs> he's going to be your number one. Can you guess yeah. my number one now that we're here? Oh, I actually thought Fallout, Blue Eye Samurai, or Hundreds of Beavers was going to be your number one. Fair. Yeah, yeah. So, no. Uh, poor Things. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Poor Things is, is my new favorite movie. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's one of those. What favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movie always changes. Normally, it's up there with like Seven and Scott Pilgrim, things like that. But uh, Poor Things is my new favorite movie. It is fucking awesome. Um, similar to like Challenges and Saltburn, where like when you watch it multiple times, there's so much more to like appreciate and pick apart. And from an artistic perspective, there is so much creativity in this movie. The the music is so fucking unique and strange. Um, they change aspect ratios, they change art styles, they go from like black and white to oversaturation in colors. The character journey is crazy. Um, you know, flaws and all. I think that poor things is for me, what I like in movies, it's a perfect movie. There, there's okay. no flaws. Mm. Um, it deserved all the Oscars that it won. Uh, I don't think people are like it was overhyped. It's not that good. Like, it's fucking. It is that good. Like I don't mm. think anything else has been as good as Poor Things in recent history. Mm. So <laughs> it's my number one, hands yeah. down. It wasn't even when I was making the list. It wasn't even a debate. Like I didn't even think about. Oh, maybe Hundreds of Beavers I like more. Like no, yeah, <clears> there's okay. nothing. Things was straight to number one, same as your number one. There was no, there was no fucking thought on it at all. It's okay. so perfect. Okay. Cool. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And your number one is, as we know and as we expect, Booba. Booba. It's so good. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's so cheesy and self aware. It's so uh, good. It's just, ah, uh, I laughed <laughs> consistently throughout the entire film. Yeah, it's Arnie, written for you. Arnie being Arnie, just he's old. He's just reactive. He's the the tough guy, mm-hmm. and just dealing with his daughter. And ah, oh, I just I laughed consistently throughout it. It was, it's a show that I've watched twice. Like it's, it's wow. And for you, uh, that means a whole lot. I laughed so often. <laughs> it was just like it was. It's if you're looking at it as a technically made. TV show, it's not that great, but it's just who cares? It's got about everything. That. It's all about enjoyment. Yeah, it's this like, is your top ten, and you're allowed to have your favorite thing as number one, regardless of how like yeah. quote unquote good it is. Yeah, I loved it. It was so good. It's got my mate man. It's got Arnie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, uh, when it. make it known that um, I keep I keep track of everything we've rated, and when I when I sent Ryman a list, um, you know, was top top things. He's only been given two five stars, and one was Arnold the Doco, which is his number two, and the other one was Fubar. Yeah, so I could guess his number one and two, uh, and I yeah. knew Fubar would be number one. I knew Fubar would be number one for you because you you went ape shit when we watched it. You're like, this is yeah. the best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> so so funny. And obliterated got four point nine. Yeah, you put that really high. Yeah. Where was that on your list? Five, four. Uh, it was five. Five, yeah. Yeah. And then four was Fallout and, and three was uh the other anime, One Piece. Yep. yep. Yeah, fair. Oh, man, what a list. That was good. That was very that was good. good. Good shit. There we go. They are the best and worst things we have watched in the past 100 episodes. We watched 99 episodes of Myself Podcast. Mm, it's been well, a journey. It's, it's been, been a good journey. But... Then we're back to our regular scheduled episode in 101. We've got catching up on House of the Dragons, episode six and seven. We've yep. got Deadpool Wolverine, so the third film. And we've mm-hmm. got the uh, sequel, uh, Twisters. Twisters. So With I'm our be... fucking mate Hartnett again. Glenn right? Powell, mate. Oh, Glenn Powell. My bad. Mm-hmm. I get the two yeah. confused. Mm, okay. The same handsome man in my head. Okay, that's fair. 
But <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna be annoyed if there's not like multiple twisters. Like if there's not two, at least two. Oh, there's gotta be there's at gotta the same be. time. I'm gonna be annoyed. Oh, it's gonna be at least three. There has to be. I'm gonna be yeah. Oh, yeah, I would laugh if, if there's only two, and then it was like the next one was the plural for three. Twist, twist, twisters with like three S's. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to be something. Or they put like the E's as threes, and then it's twisters with the three. You know, like, like Megan, Megan with the three. With the, yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a crossover. Like it's Megan running around. And she's just twister. floating in the twister, and she like jumps out and stabs people. Well, there are at least two twisters in the poster. Yeah, well, so we, we got we got multiple going on. Yeah, good, good. It has to be. <laughs> But yeah, Good that's, shit. What we, that's what we got for you. You know what to do. If you're listening on Spotify, give us that five star rating. If you're on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and tell your friends. Tell, tell your all. friends. Tell them all. This is a good episode to start with. If you if you if you want to recommend an episode to a friend, recommend this one. This is a good like wrap up everything we've done. They can go back and listen to stuff. And yep. Yeah, this is this is a good one. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Happy anniversary, my friend. Oh, happy anniversary. Without further ado, yeah. we will see you guys next week. Boys. Oh, love yous. <laughs>